got the start of this one coming your way in moments from Progressive Field. White Sox and Indians, next. Well, the rain started falling around 11 a.m. here local time, and it has not stopped falling since, as MLB The Show gets set to bring you another edition of Major League Baseball. Today, it's the finale of this three-game weekend series, as it'll be the Chicago White Sox taking on the Cleveland Indians. And a welcome inside the broadcast booth, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here to take you through this one. We'll hear from my colleagues Dave Campbell and Eric Karros momentarily. But first, let's say we check out our starting lineup. It's presented by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And there you get a look at the starting pitcher, whose job it'll be to keep these guys in check. His number is right there on the right side of your screen. Defensively, Dave, the Indians will line up this way. And there you see Juan Pierre settle in as we're just about ready to get things started. Pitch is a strike to the leadoff man, Pierre, as we get things started. Just rearing back and throwing the heater by him right there. First pitch, 1 o'clock. Right back with another fastball. It's 0-2 now. And fastball, fastball to begin the afternoon. We'll see a lot more of those going forward. Curveball, but he can't get him to chase it one and two. And very cold temperatures this time of year. 44 here at first pitch. Now he swings and hits this ball on the ground. Strong throw to first, and Pierre's kept off the base pass, leading off the ball game. So with one away, here's Paul Canerco. First pitch to him. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. One out, nobody on. Good break to that one, and he's in command, nothing in two. And he's tallied just one hit here in the series so far, one for eight. Can't get him to chase, it's one and two. Got to be tempting to try to sneak a fastball by him inside, but you do run the risk of him really getting a hold of one. And a little battle brewing here as he fights off the two-strike pitch and chops it foul. And here's a ball lifted high into foul ground down the right field line. And Manny can't get there. It's a foul ball. Here he comes again. 1-2. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at 2-2. Two two. Boy, he's already throwing 10 pitches here, and it's just the second batter of the ball game. Now here's another pitch fouled off and heading for the seats. And he's just fighting to stay alive here. Still two and two. Oh, and here's a drive well hit. Out to straightaway center field. Lofton is back though, and he's there to put it away. Two down. Alexi Ramirez will dig in now. The winner of the American League's Silver Slugger Award for shortstop a season ago. And he 
pitches off a pitch here that he probably shouldn't have. 0-1. And for the most part, he's been held in check in the series so far. Just two for nine. And that misses downstairs for a ball one and one. Yeah, and even though he's retired the first couple of guys here in the first, they've made him work for it so far. Slice down the line at first. And he'll step on first for the out. The side is retired. So a fairly painless top of the first. White Sox nothing, Indians coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Starting lineup for those Indians is on your screen. Once again, brought to us by State Farm. And set to go to work against this lineup. There you see the numbers for the very dependable right-hander, Gavin Floyd. Behind him, the White Sox defensively will line up like this. Kenny Lofton will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. the fastball by him here 0 and 1 mm, just overmatched him there now a swing and a ball lifted in the air for Rios in center and he's got it for the first out Off man gone, and here's Omar. In there, no balls and a strike. And he's just one for eight at the plate here in the series, so he needs to turn things around. Now here's the pitch. Now a swing as he shoots this one over to first. And a diving effort, but this will just tip off his glove, and that's a base hit. Carlos Baerga will dig in here. can't get a handle on it as this gets away from him. But fortunately, no advance. He's running towards second. And this ball's hit pretty well, high and deep to straightaway left. Pierre is back to the warning track, though, as he gloves it for the second out. Bell will stand in for the first time here. <laughs> now 
Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as, yes, he did. It's ruled a strike. Can't put him away on 0-2 as this is lined back into center field for a base hit. Throw will hold that runner at second base, and now there are two on with two out. Eddie Murray will be the batter. First pitch on its way from Floyd. Takes a good swing, but this will be a foul ball. And this is fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. Two down, runners at first and second. Fairly well, heading high and deep toward right center. But he will make the catch on the dead run as he tracks it down just shy of the wall, and the side is retired. Tribe turned away in the first. We played one in Cleveland with no score. Adam Dunn will stand in. He drove in one of the two runs in yesterday's ball game. low for ball one. And Omar swung all the way to the right of the bag here as the defense aligns in the overshift. Breaking balls in there that time. One and one. And he's got that thing moving pretty good here in the first few innings. In there at the letters. One and two now. And I would be wary about giving him another pitch there. Now the pitch. Uh, trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. And now on three and two, let's see if he gets a fastball here. And that misses for ball four, so it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. Carlos Quinton will get his first opportunity now. He drove in the other of the two runs in that game yesterday. And this pitch is hit hard as it'll fall into right field for their first hit of the ball game. Oh, and it's over his head. And he will beat the tag safe at the plate. A.J. Pierzynski will step in now. And this is low, ball one. And this is where you need to do some situational hitting. Just a ground ball up the middle here will get this run home. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Swing and a hard hit ball back up the middle. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And this will wind up an infield single as the attention now turns to seeing if he's okay out there. Alex Rios will get his first opportunity now. Now here's the first pitch. 
And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. Oh. Yeah, he looked okay back in the first, but he's been struggling here with a release point in this inning. Outside with the breaking pitch, and he falls behind a 2-0. And, oh. and let's see if he makes him throw a strike here. And he gets this one over at the knees for the first strike. Yeah, and 2-0, and oh, even if he had a green light, that's one he should go ahead and let go by. That was in a tough spot. Ground ball to second. This could be two. And that's through for a base hit. And the runner will hold at second, so two on with nobody out. Gordon Beckham will dig in now. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. And that's through into left, a base hit. And they're content to play station to station here as the bases are loaded now with still nobody out. Mark Tian will dig in here with a chance early on to give his pitcher a little cushion to work with. And that's on the outside corner for a strike. And this is without a doubt a strikeout situation right here as you can't let this deficit get any worse than two. Oh, can't spot the cutter any better than that. Nothing in two now. And now with two strikes, he won't worry about trying to get a ground ball. He will definitely be gunning for the strikeout. Now a fastball here that'll wisely lay off, and it's one and two. Has a look, now the pitch. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. Bases loaded here, nobody out. And he chases one up the ladder as he hits a high fly ball out to straightaway center. Lofton is there. Let's see if they try it. A tag, and he's out at the play to double play. Juan Pierre will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Fastball in there for a called strike. And this would be an important guy to get here with two away. They do not want this lead to get out of hand in the first few innings. Lined up the middle. And that's in there. Base hit. And he'll barrel right through the stop sign, headed for the plate. The tag, and he is out at the plate on a great throw from the outfield. So it's two runs on four base hits, one error, and two men left stranded. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. And the White Sox are out in front, two to nothing. Jim Tomei will start things off in the bottom of the second. And here's the ball out towards straightaway center field. Rios will wait on it. One pitch, one away. Manny Ramirez will stand in now. He homered in the ball game yesterday afternoon. Misses for ball one. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. And I believe he broke the plane of the plate there. He most certainly did. It's a ball and a strike. Now a ball lined hard toward right center. And Manny is going to reach on a base hit. This will kick up against the wall now. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Number 11 will stand in.
And a swing and a ball hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. And he lays off for ball one. And this is a big opportunity here for a young player to prove himself to his new ball club. Here's the 1-1. Swing and a hard hit ball down the line in right. And this will find the wall now over near the 325 sign. The throw into second. But he'll get in there with an RBI double. Tony Pena digs in at the plate. and a high pop-up back behind the mound. And this will be taken in here by Beckham for the second out. Kenny Lofton will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. generous strike call there on a pitch that looked off the plate at strike one. Oh, he's, he's got a legitimate gripe right there. I don't know about that one. He's set. Now the pitch. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. <laughs> he's probably saying, you're not going to call that one a strike also, are you? Swing, hard hit ball to second. On to first, and that'll do it as they manage to not let this inning get out of hand. A run for the Indians on the RBI double. We played two, and this is now a two to one ball game.